Hi everyone, my name is Diego and welcome to Urban Lab. Today I'm going to show you the 20th anniversary party of Iron Heart. As many of you know, Iron Heart is a denim brand from Japan, with international branch headquarters are, are in Gosport, UK. I went to a party and this is the result. Well, today we are here in the party of Iron Heart uh, 20th anniversary with uh, Giles and Alex. They're going to tell us about who are they and what they want to do. Uh, hello, I'm Giles and this is... Uh, I'm Alex. Yeah. Uh, Giles, how is that all of this? Um, I was doing a job that I didn't like, um, selling computers around the world and I wrote to a few Japanese denim brands and one of them replied and it was Haraki and he said I could look after the business outside of Japan. It was really as simple as that. You mean the decision was tough or you were thinking about other uh, way to do business? Yeah, I tried a, a few things. I'd done um, uh, titanium fishing reels, I'd uh, helped a local company export beer, um, but they were tiny. Uh, but so was Ironheart to start with, and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and I had to stop doing everything else. Okay, and regarding the, the jeans, why jeans and not other kind of um, clothes? What, for me personally? Yes. Um, I've always had a love of um, Americana and Levi's 501s. Uh, I always wore them. Um, so I had a great interest in them. And um, so, so um, I've always loved jeans. Um, I wore Levi's 501s for most of my life. Um, I kept most of the ones that didn't um, fit me and put them in the attic. Um, and I guess I ended up with a collection of, a modest collection of about 20 pairs. Um, and it was my interest in those jeans that uh, made me explore the Japanese denim industry, which was completely new to me, very uh, eye-opening. And um, I loved what they were doing in Japan. Uh, so I thought, well, let's give it a go, see what happens. Okay, and when you find Iron Heart and you have that meeting back in Los Angeles, what was your first thought after that? Not thinking about it was too big or what is going to do next or how going to drive everything. Uh, my, so Haraki invited me to Los Angeles to meet him pretty soon after I'd uh, emailed him. Um, and I dropped everything and went. And it was only a few years later when we were talking. He said, I didn't really need to see you. I just wanted to see whether you were committed enough to come to Los Angeles. So my goal was obviously to... Um, to make Araki like me enough and trust me enough to look after the brand outside of Japan. Okay, that's it's a really huge step. Then, in from there, what was the next step after you had that uh, meeting with uh, Araki? I, um, I ordered some stuff okay. uh, from him. I think maybe a dozen jeans and a dozen jackets, so very little. Um, and I had no notion at that point of this becoming what it's become now. I thought it would be a nice little um, internet brand selling directly to customers. And then uh, Selfedge, our US retailer, Kia from Selfedge, got in touch with us. And I thought, wow, you know, retailers are interested as well. And it really just started to balloon from that point. That then go faster than you think in, in terms of growth. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're pretty big now. I would think we're probably the largest Japanese brand in our space, Maybe certainly internationally. Definitely top three. Um, and that was beyond my wildest dreams when I started doing this. And Alex, how are you jumping in, in this? Uh... Um, so well, I've obviously always been around Ironheart because uh, I'm Giles' son. Um, so I used to help out. Uh, when Giles and Paula went on business trips um, or on holiday. Uh, and then about five years ago, five and a half years ago, um, I joined the team uh, full time. Okay. And you have before thinking about joining the team or your, your, your plan were different? Just 
So before, before I joined uh, permanently, I was working as a commercial diver. Uh, and then basically uh, that job came to an end and I was looking for something to do. Um, Dad had an intern working for him who was leaving. Uh, so I just came in kind of part time to, as a stopgap. Um, and then things really started to click uh, and we made it permanent. Then from there, what is your, your job here? What's your main <laughs> <laughs> uh, So at uh, the end of last year, I bought Ironheart off, uh, off Giles and Paula. So I'm now managing, uh, so I was kind of managing the team uh, previously, but now just in a more official capacity. So we have about 16 staff, including, including us. Um, and I basically oversee all of that with the help of um, two senior guys that manage their individual teams. Oh. And you're the boss. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. The oh, well, Haraki's still the, yeah. the boss. <laughs> then, mm, this, let's, let's talk about the, the brand itself. Mm -hmm. uh, why Ironheart is different? Why, why is, is the difference between the others, uh, the other uh, brand chains, Japanese brand chains? Um, so I think the thing which kind of sets us apart most obviously is the, the weight of our denim. Um, and people are really seem to be really into heavy denim, or particularly people that are interested in, in Ironheart and other Japanese denim brands. So I think that that uh, instantly gives us a bit of recognition. And then I also think that the way that Haraki designs clothes um, is very good for, for Western people. So his, his design ethos always revolves around motorcycling. Um, so for example, our sleeves are much longer than uh, most Japanese uh, brands would be on our tops because he wants them not to ride up when you lean forward. But that obviously benefits the slightly taller uh, Western market. Uh, and also his, I would say his ability to, or his willingness to, to take suggestions from us and then develop them in his own way uh, is really good. Uh, and it helps us together come up with a lot of products which are, which are much more Western, Western market focused. Okay, then if uh, in terms of um, design, are you involved or you bring ideas? Araki, listen to you in, in this, uh, or your, both of you, in terms of uh, make change or, or change the, the, the approach to any, any jean or shirt or, or jacket? Uh, so Haraki designs all of the seasonal collections himself or potentially with, with the help of uh, some of his Japanese staff. But we come up with a lot of ideas uh, in the UK and then feed them back to Haraki. He, will obviously say no to quite a lot of them, um, but he's very willing to work with us. And in fact, now most of our, the majority of our, of our jeans cuts were developed by, by Giles and with the help of uh, various customers and friends over the years. And now all of our best-selling models in the West, I would say, are, are, are cuts that were designed by Ironheart International, not Japan. And in, in terms of evolution of the brand and what you think about the in the future change in terms of fashion or not or keep the same pace or just evolve as the fashion evolves? Um, well, I think, I think that's something that's been true for Ironheart over the last 20 years is that we're not fashion led. Uh, we're not trend led. We don't really go with uh, the direction of fashion. We're, we're never going to start becoming more streetwear just because the, like, the kind of trend is going that way. Uh, I think it's really important that we stay true to the ethos that's kept that's built us up to the brand we are now over the last 20 years. Um, and I don't see that ever changing, regardless of trends. Obviously, like we might add in certain products, like for example, white jeans I'm wearing now uh, are more popular than they were five years ago, but we're still gonna make them with the same mentality, the same ethos as we've always done and not, not go to kind of, well, we're never gonna go fashion. Jazz, what do you think about the future of the, the brand itself? Where, where is uh, head of <laughs> And that's a question for Alex now. So. Oh. <laughs> Alex, the future. Uh, well, the future is we obviously want to keep keep growing, um, but we we never want to stop grow. Sorry, we never want to stop producing our clothing in Japan. Obviously, it's one of our uh, key uh, key things. Um, so, the problem that we have is is factories in Japan are generally speaking quite small. Um, so we're already at the higher end of our production capacity. So the, the goal is to kind of grow slowly to support those factories, maybe help them add on an extra, an extra wing or an extra few machines, bring on a couple new staff. So we will have to just continue to grow slowly rather than trying to 
ratchet massively up, move production to another country, and then obviously we devalue the brand. So. Then here is where come in the, the, the question. Mm, become a, a, the next device or just keep small and, and, and with this, the look into the, into the quality more than the um, massive production? Yeah, definitely, definitely not the next Levi's. Um, we just want to keep doing what we're doing, doing it very well. Uh, the quality is what's what's got us to the point we're at now. So we won't won't do anything that compromises that. And you already have expansion to abroad to USA. Now have opened um, some kind of brand uh, store there or uh, how, is, how is now? So we don't have any Ironheart branded stores in America. We have an Ironheart shop in Germany in Hamburg. Uh, and we obviously have iron heart shops in Japan. Um, I would say for us to open a shop in America, it would be a possibility at some point down the line, but it's not, it's not in our short-term plans at the moment. Okay. That's now, in terms of relation with the, with the customer, I'm, I'm one of them, then I don't want to, to be, to be um, more narrowing in, in, in terms of my, my thoughts, but how is the relation with the because this is a special relation with the, cost, the customers. Yeah. How do you manage that? I think that's probably a good one for you because you started started this whole thing. Um, when I first had the idea of setting up Ironheart International and uh, that was going to be web sales only, um, I uh, had the view that there are only two ways to differentiate yourself on the web. One is price and one is customer service. And we can't do price. We're expensive. We know that. Um, so we had to, the only other differentiator we could uh, utilize was customer service. So we've always been massively customer centric and uh, customer service centric. And we try to make the online shopping experience as close to a bricks and mortar store as is possible. There, there, is, there is something with this, uh Amazing how it respond in the in, in, in the forums about the, the always happy the people with the in the way you dealing with the customer and how close are to them and in terms of uh, how is the, the, the process in, in terms to, to contact with the, the do you want buyer? to talk through the process well you can talk about the forum okay so um, it was a customer who came up with the idea of the forum and I didn't even know what a forum was. Um, and we thought about it for a month and we set it up and I, my goal was if we get 50 customers on the forum, that'll be amazing. I think we're at about eight, 9,000 now. Um, and the forum has been a massive driver to our growth. It allows real people to talk to other real people um, uh, in a, a safe, open manner. Um, we try to make our web pages very professional and slick um, but people might want to see a short fat person or a tall very thin person what do they look uh, like on it so in in that particular product so um, on every web page you can click to the relevant thread on the forum and read about the product you're thinking of buying and have a look at real people wearing the stuff. And I think that has really engendered a great deal of loyalty with our customers. I mean, we, do you want me to talk about the 20th? So this weekend um, is our 20th uh, anniversary party. Um, we had a pre-party party last night and we counted 13 different nationalities at the party. And those are customers and retailers and um, uh, friends from from around the world who've made the effort to come here, and you know we we feel very humbled about that. We think we're going to have maybe 150 people here today. Um, that's extraordinary, and I think that shows. I, mean, I was talking to people last night, and they and they were saying things like, "I know everybody here, I recognise them, but I've never met any of them," uh, and it was it was wonderful. Yeah, and. Uh I said in the, in the forum was the people excited to the travel to here, the, the trip, and how to prepare everything, how it's ready with the, with the luggage when you're going to go mm -hmm. to the, the airport. And 
what's mean for for you this after all these years? I'm extremely proud and very humbled, and um, I said to at least one person who had listened to me last night, um, I think nine of my best friends are customers. You know, that's how close I feel to these people. This is amazing. The, the I'm probably not counted in their best friends, but... <laughs> no, but you, you know, this... this uh, I, I'm personally, I'm, I'm, I'm customer, I'm fan of the brand, and the fact that the, the people that... The, the, the thoughts of the people on, on the... On the on, on the forum is is amazing. That is more than a brand. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I I want to show through the, this interview. Yeah. What is big? This is more than a brand. It is, yeah, it's, it's like a family. Do you want to talk to that? I don't want to yes. hog this all the time. Uh, well, I just think one thing that you didn't mention, which the forum is also really good at, good at, is what I touched on earlier, which is um, which is the customers can can help like input into design as well. Yeah. So. Um, for example, the 888 cut was developed between Giles and uh, a previous moderator on the forum, uh, Gavin. Who's coming? Um, yeah, who will be here later today. Uh, and I think I think it's pretty cool, like for a customer, a fan of the brand, to be able to get to a position where their their ideas are listened, and then they can see them come into fruition. I think that's pretty amazing, and I think that that's definitely a unique thing about Ironheart compared to other brands, and that's very much thanks to the forum and and our customers. Well. I think we are closing the, this interview with one question that I want uh, one of you answer, uh, all of them, both of you answer this. What about the future as not only as a brand, as as a development and, and family? Uh, I, well, I think doing events like this really bring the, the Ironheart family closer together. So, uh, like I said earlier, we're going to continue to do what we're doing in terms of product design. Uh, quality and and that will obviously attract the same kind of like-minded people that we're going to be celebrating with today um, So I think that we'll just continue to develop this amazing family and but having events like this around the world brings everyone together um, It's really really special um, And just to bring it a bit more uh, Into our very immediate immediate family. I I think think of Haraki as a brother, and I think he thinks as, of me as a brother. We happen to be similar ages, so that's easy. But I absolutely know he thinks of Alex as his son. Then, 20th anniversary party, is, is, uh, is a change in anything, or just uh, in a one remarkable experience after those 20 years? Um, it's a change. It's probably the sixth party we did. We did them every year, and then COVID got in the way. Um, it's fantastic that our 20th anniversary coincided when people could actually travel. Um, the major difference with this one is it's a three-day party, and there's about 180 people coming. Wow. That's amazing. Well, guys, thank you so much. You are the head of this brand, and it means everything for many people. Thank you. Thank you, for, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. So this is um, a, new, a new unit we've just taken over, and it, um, half of it is set up to do uh, repairs. Uh, this is uh, Josh on your right. Hi, Josh. He's, uh, he's, this is his little domain. So what are you doing at the moment, Josh? You've got a pair of uh, overalls there? Yeah, I've got a pair of 805. Just getting them measured up for a customer to be shortened. Customer who's here today? Yep, they're here today, yeah. So Ed's just dropped off two. This is 805s and this is triple eight twenty ones. So just getting a rehem on both of them. Okay. So get them looking nice and smart, ready for tomorrow. So Ross is just sorry, Josh is just measuring that to be chain stitch, which will happen on the machine over there that Chess is running. Which is and that's if you want we can go over there and have okay. a look. That's a Vintage Union special chain stitcher. Chess. Uh, this is Diego. He's uh, wanting to take um, a video of what you're doing here. So can you tell us what you're doing? I'm at the last point of uh, the leg on one of these jeans. Um, they're an older pair that just needed a bit of length off. So we've cut some length off and we're just running a 
chain stitch through it now. And we've, we've done quite a lot of um, previous, repairs, previous yeah. repairs here. Which usually most machines wouldn't get through something with that amount of repair in, but this one handles it a, handles it a breeze. How long have you been down this as a profession? Um, I've been here and able to change it now for nearly five years. Um, it's, yeah, it's uh, yeah, an ever-evolving kind of uh, task. We're doing more and more each year. Um, sorry, I turned that off. It gets a bit loud. Um, but yeah, it's a, a pretty, uh, well, the best way to hem your jeans is with a chain stitch. It's, it's got some, it moves slightly um, rather than a set stitch. So it allows for a bit of shrink and stretch. Um, and yeah, we end up with a... How difficult is dealing with the 25? Um, yeah, it's more, you notice the difference between the, the 21, the 14 and the, and the 25. You, uh, you need to use yeah, this he, a bit it more. Needs, it needs a bit more persuasion to get through the 25, uh, especially when you've doubled up even further on the inseam. Yeah, you're talking a lot more denim there. Um, nothing this can't handle. Thank you. Thanks, no Chess. No worries. Thank you. Oh, and um, over here we've got Graham, who's doing some... Pimping. Pimping, snap upgrades. Yes, I'm adding a 17mm Goodart snap to a leather strap for one of our bags that we do. Um, so I've punched a hole through the reverse sides for the, to add a male connector and I'm just adding the gonna add the snap so it snaps on for the customer but the um, the backing plates that we get are just a little bit too small for good art because they're made for iron heart so I'm just filing filing the post a little bit more so I can I can get it on and then once that's done it's just gonna snap on I'm gonna have a very happy customer with a bit more good art <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. thanks Graham thank you Jay, how about your life? My life now? Yeah. Um, nice. So, um, Paula and my wife and I sold the business to our son Alex in October of last year. And the day after, I was sitting on the sofa and I suddenly felt really depressed. Like, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? Um, I don't want to sit on this sofa and watch Netflix and vegetate. So I came up with the crazy idea of buying a boat. Um, it took me about three months to pluck up the courage to discuss it with Paula, and she said, yes, OK, let's give it a go, but don't do it for at least six months. I'm too busy handing over the business to our accountants. Uh, two months later, we had a boat. So when I'm not helping Alex out uh, or on the forum, we're out on the boat. It's a change of life, eh? It's a complete change of life, yeah. And it's, um, we're loving it. Both of us, which is important. It's an us thing, not a me thing. Wow. That is amazing life. Okay, so, so, so. One, two, three. Hi, here we are, the owner of uh, Iron Heart, yeah. Araki, Araki Sam. Nice Hi, to meet you, Araki. nice to meet you. Okay, well, may I have a, a few questions for you? Yeah. First one. How born the idea of Iron Heart? Iron Heart no, I know, fuck no idea. Did you know where it was made? Eh, to ne, long time, I liked the American fuck no, my knowledge is based. So it's based on the, his knowledge of uh, clothing, which is especially American, American motorcycle clothing. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. Then, when was the first uh, the first production of Iron Heart? When it started? What, what was the year? 2003年にスタートした21オンスのstraight。2003年。Yes. Okay. He released the first 634S. Okay. And the last question to not for it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is the future of Iron Heart? Iron Heart の未来は Iron Heart の未来はあのジャイルスとアレックスとともに世界の中でコンスタントにいいジーンズを作っていくことが僕らの未来です。
So our future is together with Giles and Alex, and we will constantly making a great genes to the world. That's our plan. Yeah. Araki, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Nicholas. How are you? I'm fine. Can you introduce yourself where you're from, where you can live in? I'm from Germany, from the north, and uh, it's just great being here, like a big family. It's wonderful. It's great having you. Yeah. I hadn't met uh, Nicholas until yesterday. Now we're like brothers. But we did meet on the forum on the and forum, yeah. many contacts, yeah. How would you choose uh, Iron Fire? Why? Uh, so many Japanese friends, why Iron Fire? I have always been interested in good denim, but I didn't find anything I liked. And then I found the 634 cut. And um, that's just my, my cut, my trouser. And so I can't imagine to wear anything else anymore. So I have probably, I don't know, 12 at home and I'm just changing from one to the other. And once you find the trousers, you find the jackets and you find the shirts and, well, then you're in it. Where is, where is the best uh, team for you in the Iron Cup I usually only wear the 21 ounce 634. Oh. Yeah. But in different colors and so on, yeah. Okay, you like the straight fit? Yes. Oh, I'm not the youngest anymore and it's uh, pleasant to my not so fitting body shape. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. What are you wearing now? I'm wearing the 634 anniversary jeans which is very nice, very special with the chain stitch here. Yeah, and of course the, the cordovan leather patch here. Yeah. Okay, stay safe. Wow, it's already he's wearing this. A beautiful pair of jeans. <laughs> Buy some. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. Gavin, Gavin, make a comment of you, Matthew. Yes. They organized the conversation. Oh, that's the last one. Yeah, so much. Right, I remember. Morning, guys. Morning. 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 How are you? How are you spending the day? I'm going to be driving home after this, but you know, stay here as long as I can until that point. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed it yesterday. How was the party for you yesterday? Very much. Yeah, great, great time. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything so okay? Much. Perfect. Any, any buyer? Any? Yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. yeah. yeah? yeah. You choose something there. nice? Yeah, I got the anniversary shirt and I got the 11 ounce <laughs> green uh, sweater and uh, a hair yeah. thermal. Wow. Got, uh, it's a nice shot. More than I expected. Okay. And, and you are any anything good for home or uh, just? I bought the black one. It was a shirt for the twenty birthday. Okay. Well, guys, I let you enjoy your brunch. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Hey, morning. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Next one. More I know hard, but this time it's going to be jeans, t-shirts, shirts, and much more. See you. Thank you.